Hello, I'm Malia Goff with Rising Moon Adventures. Welcome to Primary Insights for Come Follow Me. Today's story is Moses on Mount Sinai. The script can be found in the Gospel Library app, in the children's section, in the Old Testament stories. The pieces I'm using come from my Come Follow Me Old Testament manual kit. And so if you have one of those kits, you can find your pieces and follow along. Moses on Mount Sinai. Moses and the Israelites traveled through the wilderness. They came to a mountain called Mount Sinai. Moses climbed the mountain to speak to the Lord. The Lord told Moses that he wanted to talk to the Israelites face to face. The Israelites came to the base of the mountain and the Lord caused a cloud of smoke to surround the mountain. The Lord was in the cloud. He spoke to the Israelites and gave them commandments. The mountain shook as he talked. The Israelites were afraid. They asked Moses to speak with the Lord so that Moses could tell them what the Lord wanted. Moses took Aaron and 70 elders to the mountain to receive more of the Lord's teachings. The Lord appeared to them. Then the Lord told Moses to leave the elders and go even higher up in the mountain. Moses obeyed. The Lord used his finger to write his law and commandments on some stone tablets. For 40 days, the Lord taught Moses many things. While Moses was on Mount Sinai, the people were back at camp. And they got tired of waiting for Moses. They asked Aaron to make statues for them to worship like they had in Egypt. Aaron gathered all their gold and made a statue of a calf. The Israelites worshipped the golden calf and offered sacrifices. They said the golden calf, not the Lord, had freed them from Egypt. The Lord knew the Israelites were worshipping an idol and forgetting him. He commanded Moses to go back down and tell the people to repent. Moses came down the mountain and saw the Israelites worshiping the golden calf. He was very upset. The people weren't ready to obey the law and the commandments that the Lord had written. Moses broke the tablets and destroyed the golden calf. He helped the Israelites repent and remember their true God. Moses asked the Lord to forgive the Israelites and to make promises with them again. Moses promised to lead and teach them. The Lord asked Moses to create some new stone tablets and go back to Mount Sinai. The Lord made new promises with the Israelites and gave them his Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments that he gave them were that they would have no other gods 
before him. We worship Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, and that is all. He told them they were not to have graven images. They weren't to create idols to worship. We also do not worship items or spend more of our time with items than we do worshiping our God. He asked them that when they spoke his name, that they would do it with reverence and love. He asked them to keep the Sabbath day holy, to not work on that day, but to rest and worship him and renew themselves. He asked them to honor their parents, to be obedient to the good things that their parents are asking them to do, and to make their parents proud with the things that they did. He asked them not to kill. He asked them to be loyal to their families. He asked them not to lie. And he asked them not to want the things that other people have not to covet. Heavenly Father also wants us to obey these commandments. These commandments are things that will make us happy and bring us joy in this life. They will help us to keep from complicating our lives. So if we love our Heavenly Father and we love our fellow men with all of our hearts, might, mind, and strength, then we will obey these commandments as well as other ones that he's asked us to do. Well, Leah Goth, signing off. Get hope, get Christ, get anchored.